My name is Henry Glogal. I'm passionate about designing a self-sustaining future. At the end of 2019, I traveled to Chile as part of my master's program in architecture and extreme environments. Through a local NGO called Techo, I was able to establish relationships with an informal settlement community called New Hope. During my month-long stay, I learned about the significant challenges these communities face on a daily basis. In particular, access to fresh water, electricity, and natural light. Many of these communities are disconnected from formal systems, which leaves them with unreliable, unsafe, and expensive solutions. Typically, these homes have boarded up windows for security, privacy, material costs, and protection from the extreme conditions resulting in little to no internal natural light. I began to wonder, what resource opportunities already existed in these environments? How could we utilise their abundant solar energy and seawater? And could this be merged with an internal architectural element? My initial design took a holistic approach to providing coastal informal settlements with water, natural light and energy through a solar desalination skylight. The design works by hand pumping sea or polluted water into the internal basin. Throughout the day, the solar energy from the sun separates the contaminated and fresh water through evaporation. This fresh water condensates on the top dome before dripping down to the bottom basin where it can be accessed by a tap. The leftover salt brine is used to power LEDs through a series of 12 saltwater batteries which are charged by a mini solar cell. We see the same process in nature through evaporation condensation and precipitation. This powerful process can kill dangerous pathogens, remove salt brine and heavy metals. Early in the project, I became fascinated with the combination of water and light. How reflection and refraction could not only be a functional feature, but also an aesthetical experience. I took inspiration from natural and architectural lighting examples and the qualities these create. My design process went through a variety of different iterations exploring the relationship between performance and function. These evolved into prototypes and then into a final manufactured design. The skylight was installed within one of the homes with the help of the family. Each component can be easily assembled and detached for when cleaning is required. The collected seawater is hand pumped into the inner bowl, which will evaporate throughout the day. A feature of the design is the biomimetic surfaces emulating leaf fenation networks and microgrooves, improving the channeling of the condensed water to increase yield performance. Over a 12 hour period, the prototype could produce 440 milliliters of purified water with a reduction of salinity levels from 36,000 parts per million down to 40. The leftover salt brine from the evaporation process is used to create a source of energy through a chemical reaction when placed in tubes holding copper and zinc. These 12 salt batteries provide enough voltage to power an LED light strip during the night and are charged by a mini solar panel during the day. This highlights the circular focus of the design, maximizing the potential of a resource. I analyzed the natural lighting within the space before and after the skylight had been installed. The skylight created a soft ambience and dappled effect within the home. The diffused natural light provided a well-lit workspace and social area for the family, while reducing their reliance on electrical systems. With the inevitable future challenges of resource scarcity, we must continue to explore autonomous and self-sustaining systems, which work with our ecosystems rather than against them. This proposal is a low-tech solution that gives communities disconnected from formal systems the ability to produce basic resources through a passive circular system. The solar desalination skylight is a multifunctional architectural element that is embedded within the everyday living environment rather than being a separate utility, creating a familiar, secure and accessible experience for the user where it is not a scientific instrument but an integrated part of your everyday life.